Today I'm going to show you how to make a toy truck that's been in a wreck. With this project, I'm not going to go through the whole process of uh, doing the whole patterns. just want to show you that I keep a lot of these on hand. Uh, what will happen is sometimes I'll just kind of take a 2x3, a 2x4, two by two by trace a bunch of them all out, and then cut them out, and then I have them when I'm ready. So I'm going to uh, skip the step of going through the whole pattern thing. I think I've shown you enough on the other um, trucks on how to do that. This particular pattern is going to be the uh, pickup truck, and I've already got that already cut out. And I've already got it all separated, like I've shown you before. So just have fun with this. Uh, my truck here, it's going to be hit in the nose on the passenger side. So I'm going to concentrate all the damage over here. that's going to cause our front end to be pushed over to one side. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pin this front end. So back when I was cutting the headlights off, I ended up with a with a bunch of these little extra pieces. So I'm going to drill a hole here and here just like as if I was drilling the axles and uh, just so I can uh, have a little bit of movement there when I glue it. It's never going to move again. It's just it's going to be a lot easier when I'm setting up the truck to get the wheel alignment to where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and flatten the tire. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the cab, we're going to take the nose, and the bottom half of the frame, and uh, we're going to shape it a little bit with this here. So what will happen is we're going to put this on the concrete, and we're just going to kind of beat it up a little bit, kind of, you know, give it that uh, uh, accident look. Kind of getting uh, starting to get an idea of what we got going on here now while you're shaping this don't forget to shape the other side so all I'm doing is just tunking the other side a little bit I'm not going to worry too much on that side because that's not where the damage was concentrated on it was this side but the edges okay all these edges that you would normally sand down this is just an easy way of not sanding them down and just take the hammer and beat it down like that a little bit and it'll actually look pretty good okay so you can do a lot with a hammer on this so I'm going to continue forming it you can get an idea what it's going to start to look like here is the, the blown tire so I'm on the concrete here showing this to you so it, it's coming uh, another little trick that I've used in the past is while you're on the concrete take the part like this and scratch it on the concrete it's going to kind of rough it up as well it's going to give that nice little little look right do it to all the parts mainly concentrating on the damage side need to start shaping this headlight so I'm gonna put this one in now there we go so I just kind of beat it with a hammer a little bit hit the hit it with a scraped it on the concrete so uh, now we're gonna have to start to start thinking about the hood and we want to start thinking of what we want to do with that. Be careful when you're shaping this on the concrete because this is going to split very easy. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of beat this up a little bit and then I'll take it and put it on the bandsaw and cut that in half. And hopefully I'm going to get the illusion that I'm looking for uh, as if it was hitting the nose. Been working on the hood. So what I'm going for is that wrinkled effect. So I just basically sand down the edges at an angle and I'm going to kind of glue it back on a lot like that. Um, probably at this point in time, I probably should start gluing some things on because everything, everything is going to need to fit pretty much a lot like that. The whole idea is it got hit the nose, it moved the frame this way, it moved the cab over that way, and we still need to kind of deal with the body as well. Might as well get the other headlight in. This headlight survived the crash. 
I think we are ready to put the uh, front front tire on now. These wheels do not have to move, so you don't need to use the popsicle stick that I've done in, on the other trucks. You can just glue these on. Alright, so you can see what I'm dealing with here. I'm going to need to take a little bit off that corner, so I'll just kind of sand that off. There we go. That way we can have the truck set the way we want it. Go ahead and put the rear wheels on. So you can see how important it is to make sure that we were able to pivot that nose. All right, because we're like again, we're, we're looking for the effect. All right, now if we had just left that straight, it wouldn't have looked that well. So. We want to give it the uh, we want to give it the uh, the realism as much as possible. There's really no damage to the rear of the bed, so we can put the uh, the tail lights in. So now I'm going to put the visor on, and all I've done on this is just take a block of wood and just cut the edge off, just like that. Just go like this here, and you get yourself a visor. Yeah, we need to add a little damage to that visor. Okay, now it's time to uh, put some mirrors on it. Uh, just like in the tractor trailer, I'm going to uh, sand one side down so it will act as a mirror, and I'm going to use the toothpicks as the antennas. Not sure yet if this mirror survived the wreck or not yet, so I'll get the other side on and I'll kind of fool with it. Maybe this one survived, but it just kind of pushed it off to the side a little bit. I'm ready to put the hood on. The hood finally dried. This is going to be maybe a small fuel holder, a hauler. So uh, I'll put this on the bandsaw to give it the illusion that it's sitting down inside the bed. Going to be uh, shaping that to the front of the truck, and I'll put an angle on that again to simulate that that the bumper took some of the uh, the uh, hit. This is kind of what I ended up with. I'm going to glue that down. So I actually uh, took it and put that on the bandsaw and cut that just so it just showed that the bumper had some damage as well. There's a little effect that I had learned uh, many years ago doing this is is to take some of the concrete dust and uh, just kind of rub it around the truck. All right, got the camera on the floor here, so this is a little difficult. Uh, just rub it around different places on the truck, just to kind of give it the um, the used look. Okay, so this we're not trying to make this pretty. We're trying to make this. It was a used truck. This truck was on the road. It was in service, and then it got in a wreck. Yeah, that's one effect that works pretty good. Another effect that works pretty good for me is just open up your uh, wood stove door if you had that, and get some of that black soot. And just, you know, you're not, you're not rubbing it in. You're just handling the truck. Again, you're just trying to give it that used look. And just a neat little effect that I had discovered many, many years ago.